Um, hi everybody, I'm here in Barcelona with my great friend Joanne Figueres. Um, I don't often get here but when I do, me and Joanne always work together. Um, Joanne is a great photographer, he's a great um, documentary photographer, street photographer. Um, he always inspires my work um, and we always have a good time together. Um, so, um, you also do photo tours, why don't you explain what the photo tours are about, which are brilliant by the way. So, we thought in doing that activity because, uh, you know when you travel, yeah. normally you don't get pictures about yourselves. Same for me and Pat. Exactly, so maybe it's, it's only Pat in the pictures or you have to do that selfies, which is okay, but not the whole trip. And uh, we thought that there was a space there that we could fulfill it. And not only by making pictures of the people, but also explaining things about our city, our culture. And um, that works a lot and uh, people are really happy with that. So it's just a mixing activity between uh, history, culture, and photography, yeah. which uh, it's not easy to have it because normally if you have to get uh, you have to get married or you have to make like a big uh, celebration to have uh, professional pictures. Yeah. So we thought that it, you don't need actually to marry to have nice and professional pictures. So we thought it would be a nice idea, and we uh, develop on that idea. I just uh, document myself about the Gothic Quarter, born area. Now we are doing the Parguel uh, tour, so we explain things, but not like these historical facts or whatever, just no, mention I mean, some things, also so that the people know what, uh, where are they, but also to forget about the photo shooting, because obviously they are not professionals, I mean models or whatever, and at the beginning they are a little bit uh, shy, it's yeah. normal, you have to break that uh, boundary. And connect. And connect, yeah. you know, photography is a matter of of communication. Yeah, absolutely. It's not only a photographer, a camera and someone there. So it's much more than this. Yeah. And you know it's not easy to get to that point. So that helps us to, to get the best pictures. Because uh, what we try to do it's not only pictures but emotions. Yeah. So it's not okay look at the camera, it's not like this. So we try make people feel really uh, comfortable and uh, also natural. So naturality and photography or cameras doesn't match uh, too much. So with that idea that helps us and the people are really happy um, in 15, 20 minutes they get, they forget about the photo shooting, they just relax because they know this history, they look into the places, they observe because we have a, such an amazing place here in the yeah, it is. Two, a thousand years of history in the Gothic Quarter so that helps a lot and yeah. the, the people is happy we see in the pictures and they are they are amazed with that results. So. But also your personality is really important, I think, in that. I mean, you've got such a warm personality and you can just c c connect with people very quickly and very easily and people really feel comfortable around you. So it's a really good... Uh, I think it's a matter approach. of passion. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. once you love uh, where, what you do, where you live, uh, I mean, to show people where you live and your culture, so for me, it's a, it's a pleasure to do that. Yeah, you can see that as well when you're working. So I mean, we, we, we've been friends for a few years now and, and, and you've really kindly shown me the city and your passion comes alive when you're out there showing me the city. I mean, you've taught me so much um, and it's, it's really infectious. So it's like a dual-edged sword. You've got the photography on one side and then this amazing, um, not tour guide is in traditional tour guide, but your, your, your knowledge is phenomenal and you get the two linked, it's very infectious yeah. and it sort of like draws you in, yeah. um, which is brilliant. So moving on from that, I wanted to talk about your passion as well, which is sort of, is it cross between street photography and documentary? Yeah, it is. So my, my um, studies are, uh, I come from journalism, I'm a journalist, so at some point the crisis arrived so I could not manage uh, to keep doing that in a, in a media place but I thought uh, I could do it on my own and this is it's fulfilling my need to, to explain something, to explain yeah. stories and to show it through the camera so also I like uh, writing but photojournalism and uh, street photography and uh, documentary uh, pictures allowed me to, to do what I 
mostly like to do, which is uh, uh, show stories through images and uh, just being like an observer there and uh, trying to be invisible, which is not easy sometimes. No, no, it isn't. But it's like it's like I don't know. It's like a it's like a game. It's like a passion. It's like um, being there but not being there. So it's like something that it's it's really as you told uh, uh, this word infectious. It's really it's like a drug actually. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So absolutely. Because once you travel, also you you happen to know yourself a lot and the people also. So it's a matter to to know the people. Also, the more closer you get to them, the better. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Because obviously, it's also the more they give back. Yeah. The closer you are, the closer they become to you. The more you give, the more you give back. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a mirrored thing, isn't it? But yeah. Yeah. Some people say that um, to be original. That uh, Gaudi, the famous architect, uh, Gaudi sentence: that the more, if you want to be original, you have to get really close. Yeah. To the. Thing, or Subjects, the people, yeah, whatever it is, or yeah. the origin. Yeah. So the, if you want to be, and sometimes you you got inspiration in being really close, and in, it's not only a, a picture, but you have to talk to them, you have to know them, and uh, communication yeah. is king. So it's like something that really uh, makes you feel um, full and uh, happy. Yeah. So it's something that you cannot. Um, sometimes you're gonna even explain. No, no, it's That's true, why yeah. we are photographers. Maybe we want to explain things and 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 glazes and things through pictures. So yeah, I think yeah. it's 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 you just have to be there. Some people also say that I've been I, I've did nothing but being there. But being there means a lot of things. Being there is everything. Yeah. So because it's your experience your eye and the picture but I mean we would we would be nothing uh, also without the people no it's true and the experience and the place it's just I think the the engine and the gasoline is uh, curiosity yeah 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 so yeah. I'm curious about everything so I I'm you know I'm sometimes in one place and I'm there but sometimes I'm also there you yeah, know yeah yeah I so understand in the, the table there and what happens, what surrounds me, so it's something that um, I cannot uh, stop. Yeah, yeah. You know, Wherever you go, it's yeah, the same. I'm looking like everywhere. Sometimes for me, it's really difficult to focus on the place where I am because me, it's me like... Me too, me too, yeah, it's the same. So yeah. that's what I feel when I... So it's observing, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a passion. And obviously by traveling, it's when you feel more um, fulfilled in that sense because you are so simulated mm. because obviously the everyday life it's also nice it happened uh, a lot of things surrounding because it never stops but the more different the culture is the more uh, you are simulated and yeah and your senses are heightened and, and everything around you and all of a sudden your vision expands and yeah. like you say it's like almost 360 you can you sort of come out of your body and you can feel what's going on rather than just for me, observing as well is, is and, it, and it is for you because I've seen you, I've seen your work, it, it, you can feel everything and you, you observe everything, not just through vision but through feelings and energy and when all that comes together and you're in that moment, it's the best feeling in the world. Yeah. Or one of the best feelings in the world. Let's yeah. That way. yeah. And then when you see the results, then that's total completion. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you can spend like, it's... I've never been to the a dark room, so I don't experience much in uh, in anal analogic. But it's like being there, editing. So you see your work. Yeah. You're going back there also. Yeah, you yeah. see some things, and so it's a pleasure to making another kind of trip once you edit also because yeah, it's yeah. a whole process. You're back there again. Yeah. And so to choose them, and then you see, so you see the results are. So it's because sometimes also you, when you look um, through. The, the camera so um, I mean once you see the results also you are back there yeah yeah absolutely, you, absolutely. it's a good way <coughs> so like we always say mem good memories never die yeah yeah <coughs> so it's like I know it's like feeling alive you know totally alive once you experience those travel those the culture the food the people that's why mostly um, uh, portray people because it's like they're telling a lot of stories through the eyes, through the hands, through uh, the glazes and I don't know, 
Um, if you take language away, we all communicate in the same way. All our body language is very similar. So what you're capturing, we can all relate to. And, and it's the same with me. I've, I've noticed no matter where I've been, even if I can't speak their language, you can connect with somebody and you can get them, I don't know, you, you can understand them by body language. Yeah. Body language is the same no matter where you it's go. It's all about breaking this, this uh, boundary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breaking the barriers down. Uh, it's a matter of you. Obviously, you have to know how to approach. Yes. But also, they have to allow you to do yeah. that. Because some cultures uh, are different, are difficult to get them, they don't like images. That's the big uh, issue that I uh, face yeah. when I travel because obviously sometimes it's, they feel like aggressed and it's like an aggression sometimes. But, but you have that personality and that warmth to break that barrier down instantly. And it's something that's intangible. You can't sort of teach it or sometimes describe it. It's just there. It's feeling, it's a kind of feeling. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I think you are really good at, I mean, you are, I mean, great at all these uh, stages, but especially in uh, um, knowing how to approach people, because it, you, you make it really, really soft, so really, I don't know, just, yeah, it's something, that's it, so sometimes it's just a gesture, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just, just a glaze, just kind of, and yeah. a smile, yeah, yeah. and uh, it's a really breaking. Smile is king. Yeah, 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 smile yeah. is everything. So where can people see this work? Well, actually, um, web page, but uh, we, you know, it's that's the big issue, you know, to uh, know how to exhibit in all senses. Yeah. So exhibit um, physically, so like an exhibition, but also to show it uh, to people. So because. It, it's really nice when you do that th those uh, works to let people know or let people see that and it's not easy you know to to leave out of uh, street photography no no it, it's very or difficult or photojournalism yes. yeah. it's more like a passion it's, so it's nothing that it's going to be paid but people need to see this work it is amazing so yeah it, it always inspires me and i think you know needs to be out there somewhere so yeah, good place to exhibit those things. It's like Visa por l'image, like I told you. This is a photojournalism uh, spot, the big spot that's in Perpignan in uh, yeah, France. So we're gonna go there together. So it would be nice to go there and uh, yeah, yeah, and know a lot of people and you know to to get to those uh, magazines, places, and all these things. Also, yeah. what I love I love is um, um, Catalan culture, so folklore, yeah, and especially human towers. So it's yeah. kind of my passion and I'm working on a different project just uh, with pictures and sound. So I want to make okay. kind of a video, something in between video and photography. Okay. So not only photography, not video where you see everything. So it's something dealing with um, um, a sight but also yeah so different senses exactly yeah so like a, a different experience like also maybe just by seeing the pictures and listening or sometimes the video uh, but a video from from the images yeah images I mean, and sounds i have to say something we're, we're, we're experimenting with at the moment um we've just come back from istanbul and when um, we've just walked the streets with a microphone and no pictures and then hopefully we're going to put my images with um, with the pictures and, and it's different it's, it's heightening two senses at once but in a different way so yeah, yeah exactly. I, I, I will look forward try to experience those things you know because I think yeah. there's you can tell uh, things uh, facts from different points of views also artistically yeah so try to uh, experience also another kind of yeah yeah it, yeah it just opens everything up doesn't because it because sometimes you know you can you see the photography but imagine that you are hearing also that sound in there yes so that would be something different in there yeah and you don't always need to show everything like the video it's okay but in video it's like everything that you don't have to do anything so you're, you're seeing but sometimes if you see and you listen no movement but you are it's gonna be there. You're gonna yeah, yeah, be there yeah. in another sense, also. Yeah. So it's it's gonna be no, it's, stimulating. I, I, also, I get it, and I think it'd be really good. So I'm working in this project now, also. So I um, yeah. also 
can let you, I, I can um, show you the, the work. Yeah, I mean, one of the things um, that I first saw of Giovanni's is these human towers. And I saw them in Tarragona, they are the most amazing images. We will put some on, on the video. And also, what we'll do as well is we'll, we'll signpost you from this video to Joanne's work. There's well, something unique, something unique yeah, because you I mean, can see this our is, culture this there. Is amazing. Yeah. And it's all about strength, balance, um, value and, and, and sense. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. because it's not only making things there, so it's, it's a group gathering together to, to do something together, yeah. going up. <clears throat> And uh, so you can see a lot of passion in there. So whenever I see passion, so shouting, screaming, uh, um, uh, crying, all the all the life is this. Yeah, absolutely. The light is yeah. it's it's uh, success, but it's also failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's strength, it's passion. Sometimes it's pain. So whenever you can see that in uh, one thing, it's like life is there. Yeah. So you can see the faces of the people. Uh, also, it's really colorful because uh, the groups are kind of teams, so every group has a different origin and teams and different kind of levels. And you can see really uh, life there. So once you see life, it's uh, human beings and humanity there. Yeah. Gathering together to do something together. So for me, it's something that that uh, provokes me a lot of things and it's... Yeah, I must admit, when, when I saw the images, they're, you know, they're, they're incredible because you've got every every ounce of energy that these people are, are sort of um, giving is in there and every emotion is in there and you're really close to some of it and that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, really good. We'll put some images on. Great. Um, so, I just have to say that it was uh, really nice to know Keith, just, it was a coincidence to just show up, show yeah. up in, the, in the... And now we become good friends. In the, in the shop and we just connect and it's nice to have friends like this because you can share a lot of things and you can get inspired. Yeah, inspire each other. Yeah, you know? yeah it's great. work together, just yeah. walking and just observing life and to share that passion. It's Drinking the odd glass of wine and yeah, the odd coffee. Yeah, glass of wine and... Yes. Confirmed. Yes. So I hope that we can keep doing this. For, yeah, definitely. For our lifetime. Until you're pushing me around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but always with the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>